Marv Albert, Ben Scully, Joe Buck, all great sports broadcasters. Broadcasting 23 will teach you how to broadcast like them, in addition to news and live remote broadcasting on Campus Station KVCM. Well, this broadcasting class offers a lot of great hands-on experience. Uh, I never thought I would be doing broadcasting or play-by-play for the for anything, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, Mr. B uh, makes it very easy, and so it's just a great class to take. Mr. B is an excellent teacher. He gives people opportunities if they're you know if they show that they want it. So he's really good about that. Croson gets the ball and hands off. Quickly, looks like they got a touchdown. A touchdown. So Thomas. That was goes a good play. For the first Monarch touchdown. Football is something. It's a sport that I love. So it's actually, you know, it's a lot of fun to call the play-by-play. -play. You're listening to 95.1 KVCM Los Angeles Online Radio. We are broadcasting live from Monarch Stadium. My name is Scott Schiff, and joining me is Jose Avila and Aaron Rosenberg. We have two teams that are both 2-2 two and two in the conference, but Los Angeles Valley is overall 4-4, four and four, and LA Southwest is overall 3-5. and five. It's a pretty good matchup, though. Well, first of all, the setup, how to get everything going, and more importantly, the teamwork between play-by-play -play and analyst. In this, I've been serving most of the time as the analyst on a little play-by-play, -play, but you know, it's it's really being able to you know get the timing down with partners in there. That's that's been the biggest challenge. But I, I think we've improved a lot since. The beginning. I do the color. Yes, Jose Avila and I do color. Scott Schiff does play-by-play. -play. Obviously, favoring the run with a third-string quarterback. But you know, what do you think, Jose? Would you call it pass here? I mean, I definitely would. I mean, let's go ahead and give Croson a little motivation. Um, he is, in fact, the quarterback of the team, so let's go ahead and, you know, show why he's the quarterback, you know. Now we can't rely on the running game the entire game, so let, let's get that momentum going. And the Cougars call a timeout. Well, I like football because it's, it's the most exciting, and I think I'd be good at baseball, too, because I played it, you know, for about 10, 15 years. <laughs> Hey, I'm Leo Flares from Fox Sports. I'm with Maury Croson, quarterback for Valley Hodge. What an awesome win tonight. And it was just incredible because it looked like maybe things weren't going to happen. How'd you feel in that fourth quarter? You know, uh, I felt like the whole time we were going to, we would be able to battle with them and we'd be able to uh, play with them. And going into the fourth quarter, I, I knew if our defense was able to stop them, I felt confident that our offense would be able to get on the board and come away with the win. And the kick is off. Kind of a short kick. Landing around the 22 and play is stopped on the field. Yeah, I think the football touched uh, touched the ground, so they'll call it dead there. Okay. Yeah, that's a different rule than the NFL, I believe. I believe in the NFL, that still would have been a live oh, ball. Oh, that's a live ball. In college, you can take a knee on your own there without being forced down. Yes. I'm Leo Flores for Fox Sports. Congratulations to the Monarchs tonight, beating uh, Southwest Cougars 35-32. to We're with Coach Fenwick of Valley College. Just, just an awesome win for you guys. And last week was uh, difficult, and the week before that as well. Uh, second half thoughts on this game. Well, um, um, we didn't realize, I think, going into the game that we'd be able to score that many points. But uh, I'm really proud of the kids, the way they hung in there and believed in what we're doing. We got down by a couple of touchdowns, and I wasn't sure how we'd respond. And to see us battle and respond and fight back and be so determined to, uh, to you know, to get ahead and, and to overtake them, it, you know, it's just a credit to some of the character that we have on our team, so I'm really proud of them. Croson fakes the pitch this time. Gets Hilliger. Oh, Hilliger. And it's uh, the Hilliger's Hilliger at the five touchdown. Okay, that was a quick throw to Hilliger, who runs all the way from the 41-yard line into the touchdown zone. Touchdown, yeah. that's Monarchs. A, that's the third third touchdown here in the second half for Hilliger. My question is, where have all these plays been all this time? I mean, obviously they're extremely effective because two passes already from Croson, they've resulted in touchdowns. You know, and that that was an incredible play. It really caught me off guard. I'm like, okay, here's another run. 
I mean, I had a great time. I, I think that we're going to keep doing it. We're definitely going to be doing the basketball games. Um, I hope we do baseball as well, but I hope this program of doing the live broadcast for sports keeps going because we're only going to get better, and it's been a lot of fun. 